Welcome back to another Tuesday Tea Talks. My name is Mariela, the founder of Culture Greatness. Tonight, we have a special guest all the way from London. Her name is Aini, and she is also a YouTuber. She is a podcaster, and we're going to get to know you tonight. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Thank you for having me. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. So tell us a little bit about your journey, where you're from, where are you now, what took you there? Well, I'm originally from the Philippines. Uh, three years, oh, four years ago, I was brought to Doha, and uh, that's where I actually came to know or had a deeper relationship with God, and um, that's where he changed me, he molded me, and I was happy where I was, but I have to say that if God wants to use you, he will. So um, last year, we were praying for his will to be done. No yeah. plans, no other um, prerequisites. He just told me, go to the UK. So um, we prayed and thank God I'm here. I'm now in the UK. So you, so you packed and you were like, okay, I'm here. Exactly. There were a lot of exams. And yeah. like they say, if it's God's plans, <laughs> yes. we will push it through. Yes. That is, here. <laughs> that's awesome. And, and tell us how you started with podcasting. Because the way I found you, it was literally just uh, me browsing through um, Instagram. And then I saw, you know, oh, you know, a new podcaster. Let me click in. And, and then I started listening to you. How did you start your podcast? It was, um, I would have to say that I really like writing down my thoughts. Okay. And um, every day I, I, I go through, or rather, it's a habit of mine to read the Bible every day. And I would pick some verses that would really struck me or um, has deep impact on me on that day. Mm -hmm. And then I would write down my reflections. And every time I wrote my reflections, it was always, there was always that voice saying, it's not just for you and me. You have to share it to the world. Wow. So, and that was a couple of months back, but I'm very shy. I'm very self-conscious. Oh, please. <laughs> and um, I'm like, um, who am I to share what um, I have? Like, I always was trying to make myself small. Yeah. But God was trying to say that that's the point. I'm trying to make a point that you don't have to be someone great to be yes. used by him. Yes. So, I was like, at first I was thinking of, okay, I'm going to, what do you want me to do, Lord? Do you want me to do an Instagram? Do you want me to do a blog? Do you want me to do this? I had so many ideas, but um, eventually I said, I'm more confident with speaking than in my yeah. writing. So I said, Lord, I want to start the podcast that I think you want me to do. So um, and just like I said earlier, like if he wants to use you, he will. And like, just like that, the moment I open my phone, then when I when I've made up my mind that yes, I want to start a podcast, everything was there. I had a platform. I started recording. Like it was so easy. I didn't imagine it to be that easy. I honestly thought it was gonna be so difficult, but I just recorded, published it, and bam, it was everywhere. It was on Spotify. I thought I had to spend for that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank God for providing everything. So basically, that's it. It's not about the numbers. Yeah. It's not about the, it's never about the number of followers, but the number of people who will, who we can reach. Yes. And who can definitely hear the message. And I'm always praying for them to hear the word of God through me. Yeah. But not see me. You know what I yes. mean? Yes. Yes. Hear his word. So and, and, and you know what? And, and it is so good because you're right. Like, let me tell you, for, for the longest, I've wanted to start a podcast for the longest. <laughs> and I was like, but I don't have nothing to say. Exactly the same thing that you, I don't have nothing to say, you know, yeah. like, I don't, you know, I'm not that yeah. interesting. But something that I have learned is that there are people that are drawn to your voice, regardless of where are they or who they are. There is like a, a special anointing, if you want to say, on your voice for those specific people that you're exactly. speaking to. So let me tell you, yeah, because I was like, I tried to look for you on, on Spotify and I'm like, I can't find you. And when you put the link, I literally was driving on my way to work and I was like, Aww. This is so relatable. So I played like, you know, all the way to work. Um, it, it's about 45 minute drive for me. And, and I was like, this is something that can that edifies my life, right? When I have those those drives and the the way I it is 
you know, it was refreshing hearing you, hearing your voice, hearing, oh. hearing your, um, there was one about that you talked about, uh, I think it was your boss. Uh-huh. Uh, and, and I was like, this is so good. So let me reach out to, to her to see, you know, if we can just collaborate and, and, the, and here we are. Yes, so, praise God. <laughs> yes, yes. So let me ask you then, um, you know, now that you're in, in a different country, right? You are probably, how was it you coming in trying to maybe uh, fire, find some relationships or form relationships with people? How was it for you? Because I know that a lot of people too are afraid to jump in, to follow what God is telling them because they're like, you know, we put a lot of like, oh, but you know what, God, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to live. Oh, you know what? My family is here. Uh, my friends are here. Yeah. How do we jump? And how does that, how have you seen God's hand on your life in a different country with a different would, culture? Yeah, I would say that it, it was definitely a test of faith of how much I trusted him because moving here, I didn't come with anyone. I came by myself. I have no family, no friends to come with me or to visit when I came here. So technically, I was alone, mm -hmm. but I wasn't lonely. I didn't feel lonely in any way. Like, um, they always say to see is to believe, but yeah. I never believe that. It's always God working and the little things. He's, he's working in the background and yeah. um, he will work through it with you because yeah. he never promised that it's going to be a, it's going to be smooth sailing. He never promised that it's going to be an easy journey, but he does promise that I was so in doubt, like how, how do I get the money? How do I do this? And there were so many questions, but I think what, what you have to first, um, you have to confess with your mouth that yes, Lord, I trust you. I believe in you and let your will be done. And honestly, all else will follow. Like, there are so many, if you go to YouTube or if you listen to different podcasts, there are this many topics about how to be guided, how to be, yeah, how to listen to him, how to hear his yes. words. But I cannot give you any pointers or topics. All I can say is we should stop mumbling, stop, yeah. stop complaining and just, just be ourselves raw to God. Just lift up all you are to him and it will all follow like i cannot give any pointers all i can yeah. tell you is that he will lead you he will yes. guide you yes literally i did not know what to do when i came here but for sure he was leading me where i needed to go i wasn't lost he was yeah. guiding wow. me where i needed to go and so, that yeah. is awesome let me tell you and and that will a lot of us christians have um a battle right because we no, deep down inside, we know what we're supposed to do, but yeah. we don't have that faith to actually jump and be like, I'm going to trust you fully, completely, a hundred percent. And I'm just going to go. We are like, we literally, before we take, um, uh, a step, we're like, okay, I need, uh, you know, somebody needs to give me a word. Yes. I'm going to yes. open the, I'm going to open my Bible and I'm going to point, you know, put my finger and where it lands, God is going to speak to me exactly. or I'm going to have a dream or so we're always, and I, and I guess maybe because, you know, it's our human nature that we're always looking for that validation that it yeah. is okay to jump in, even though yeah. that does the, the subtle voice of the Holy Spirit is speaking to us and telling us yes. it's okay. Yes. Just jump in, go in and, and start, you know, walking in purpose. Cause exactly. we, we hold our purpose for a long time, you know, exactly. because our doubts or whatever. Um, any, and, and let me ask you that, you know, you said, um, you have been alone, in, but not lonely. Right. Um, how is it were you able to find a church were you were you still being connected how is the pandemic working for you um and how long have you been in in in, in london because I, I don't think <laughs> i i know i've only been here for um for nine months i've only been okay. I'm gonna, yeah i'm gonna be here for a year um, what i could add though is that when you take the oh, well god will will break you to become 
to become the purpose that he wants you to do or to take yes. you to the purpose that he wants to bring you to because 10 years ago i was such a goal oriented um to the dot planner like everything has to go according to plan like i remember back in college uh our professor told us to write on the board um the five things that you need to accomplish in five years and i honestly wrote there graduate from nursing become a registered nurse take my master's go to the uk that was 10 years ago okay wow. so but all four happened except the fifth or except the last one and uh -huh. i was like and i was doing everything according to human effort and i think god did plant did plant that seed to me 10 years ago wow. but he wasn't he wasn't going to make me grow to the to my to who i can be until he broke my mold yeah. until he could be, he he knows that he could trust me with yeah. the plans that he had for me wow. so um i honestly gave up on that dream but look at me now like i'm here in the uk i'm a registered nurse here and yes. i could say that it's not no credits to me but only to the lord like yes because if i, I think if he brought me here 10 years ago i would just say oh i'm so good I'm, yes i'm i'm actually i did it by myself but no god god had to humble me first yes and he had to bring me down to my knees so that he can use me to his better absolutely glory absolutely right and I would say he brought me here in the right time because if I if you asked me to come here alone years back I would say no. I would say oh my god it's oh my lord it's going to be so scary coming by myself. I don't have any money like I keep saying that but God always provides honestly. Yeah. I I that that may be one of my worries but he always says I will provide for you. Yes. Wherever same. you go I will be with you and um so I think he changed me first before he yeah. brought me here so that I would not glorify myself, but I will lift his name instead higher. And um, I just have to say that it's all in the perfect time because he brought me here in a pandemic. And if he didn't change me to who I am now, I would say I would have been back in the Philippines by now because <laughs> I would be so scared. Like yeah. I, had, I had the virus myself a couple of months back. And honestly, like all I could think of was if, if I had the virus before I had a relationship with him, all I could maybe do was may have complained because I was yes. reflecting on that. But thank God, because he changed my perspective. He broadened it. And he was telling me like, yes, you have the virus, but I am with you. Wow, I'm Annie. using you for this. And, um, and all I could think of was, yeah, yes, Lord, use me because the pain that I have now is nothing compared to what Jesus went through in the cross yes. compared to the humiliation, the suffering he had to go through. And I think that um, it was difficult to be, it was difficult, I have to admit, to be away from family, to be away mm -hmm. from the, to be away from the church. I called my family as well. Yes. But he was also at the same time telling me that, yeah, I brought you far away from them so that um, you will feel closer to me. He, I was in so much comfort that he had to bring me out of that bubble, first that bubble, and make me realize that my identity is not in the family i am in and not the yes in 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 who i am as a person but who i am as a child of him you know what i mean excellent yes <laughs> great and, and let me tell you you just touched something that i i didn't know that you had the virus but when you were going through there and we have a lot of people probably listen to us um, right now that are fearful of the virus, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we have to take precautions. Um, you know, that's something that we do, that I do as a, as a mom and, you know, here in my household, um, even when I'm outside, when I was going to the office the, this past few weeks um, before we yeah. were, you know, sent back home. Yeah. Uh, but I see that a lot of people are walking in fear and it is like this uncertainty, like we are fearful of dying. We're fearful of each other, right? Of each yeah. other, because you might have the virus. And if you come in contact with me, then I might have it. So we are walking, you know, and on suspicion, right? Yeah. We suspect that everybody yeah. has it. And it's like, you know, you cannot even have like a little tickle in your throat. Because yeah. the other day, so I... True. I was at at, a, at, a, at, a, at an office and literally I had like the tick on my throat and I'm like, and I looked around and I was surrounded by elderly and I was like, if I cough oh, no. right at this minute, 
what are these people going to think? So I was like, you know, trying to swallow. And I was like, okay, so I stepped out. I had water with me. I drank water. I was like, okay, you know, get together and go back in. But a lot of people are walking in fear right now uh, because of the uncertainty. And it's worldwide. We're in the pandemic worldwide. What can you say to those people? Because you already walked through it. I haven't, that I know of, um, have had the, the virus. Yes, I was very sick at the beginning of the year, uh, February, March, that I'm like, maybe I had it, but I haven't gotten tested, right? You know, like I had a lot of the, of the symptoms. I'm like, eh, maybe I did. Um, but what can you tell those people that are walking in fear that literally are fearful to even to get the mail to go outside? Because everything is like, oh, I'm buying my groceries online. I'm just literally having a drive through. I'm not having human contact, which is mm-hmm. so good for the soul. How yeah. can, I, what can you say to those people walking in fear? I can, I can tell them that it's okay to be afraid. So, um, sometimes we get, we, we, we have this conception that I'm, I'm, I'm Christian. I have God. I shouldn't be afraid. But you know what? God made us with emotions. Yeah. And he didn't restrict any emotion from us. We can feel love. We can feel joy. We can feel anger, jealousy, whatever emotion there may be. And that one of them is fear. It's valid to be afraid. But what isn't, or what's more helpful, aside from being afraid, is to not let that overcome what you have or that fear that you have, but let God take over. And it's, it's such a beautiful time now to, um, to store, to immerse ourselves with the word of God. Because if we don't, when we get into a situation where it's so out of our control, we let our emotions control us instead yeah. of letting the truth hold us. Yeah. So we should, it's okay. It's okay to be afraid. But let's not overwhelm ourselves with fear. Let's be overwhelmed with what the Holy Spirit can do for us. Yes. I have have to be honest. I was scared. I was scared. But all I could think of is if I die, I've already accepted Jesus in my life. He is my Lord, my Savior. And all I could think of was, Lord, I look forward to serving you in heaven. Like, if this is where I am up until, if this is my last day, it's okay. And not everyone feels um, comfortable to say that. And yeah. That's fine. That's okay. But what, because it's okay to feel fear. It's okay to feel, oh, to feel a lot of negative emotions, but yeah. don't get overwhelmed with it. Instead, yeah. reach for the Bible, read through it. You may be, as you flip through the pages, you may be like, you might be shaking, you might be tremble, trembling, or you might, um, you're, 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 you might be clouded with a lot of negative things in your head. But as soon as you immerse yourself in the word of God, you'll see yes. that from Genesis to Revelation, each of those examples he used, they all had trials. Like yeah. Job had trials. Yes. Daniel had trials. Um, every single person in the Bible has trials. But if you look into their stories, you could see that God was with them. Yeah. All of their stories had multiple um, circumstances that seemed so overwhelming to them. But God continuously said that he is God. Yes, he is. He is. the one who can deliver us from any situation that we have. Like the best comfort that we have is not even from our family or from ourselves. It's only from the Holy Spirit yes. and from God. And as long as we take that time to immerse ourselves in the word of God, immerse ourselves in his presence, continuously seek him, he will always be there for us. He may feel distant sometimes, but he is definitely working in the sidelines. We do not need to see to believe. We only need to know the truth and accept the scriptures, accept that Jesus Christ is our savior. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and that is so good because you're right. Um, you know, regardless of what religion background we have, you know, because we have other other uh, people listening to us, but having that certainty, 
that Jesus is our Savior, yes, that amen. he is working through our pain, are working through our fears yes. and that eventually this, whatever we're walking through right now, whatever, if it is, you know, it has to do with the virus or anything else, any brokenness that we're walking through right now, that eventually he's going to use that for others to, for us to help others. And then those people that are drawn to our voice, they're able to keep, open their hearts and be like, yes. if somebody walked through it, and they're okay. Yeah. That means that there is hope for yeah. for us. And it, it is so good, Annie. Um, it is true. Uh, what can you say then? Because um, there are a lot of, and, and I was speaking to another YouTuber uh, um, recently, and she was telling me, you know, that um, in the singleness, right, of life, that she's having trouble. And I know that you said, oh, I, you know, and she moved, literally she moved from one um, state to another and without knowing anybody, without just, you know, going forward, but she encountered um, a time of like saying, I don't think this is right. I don't think I, I did the right move because she encountered a lot of like, um, like a, like a wall, like she walked into a wall and she was like, Yes, maybe I jumped too soon. Um, I don't have anybody. I, I'm, I feel she is letting herself feel lonely, overwhelmed. Um, she was homeless for a while. So, how can you? What can you say to those ladies uh, that have walked into faith? Right, like they said, we're going to trust you, God. We're going to go in and start working. Um, and pushing what you want us to do. What can you tell those ladies that maybe they're doubting that they took the step and saying, maybe I walked too soon. Maybe, maybe I should have just waited. Maybe I should have just opened my Bible and maybe point my finger to the, to the, to the verse and, and, and see if God was telling me, what can you tell them? Well, I could definitely say that all things work out for his goodness. Yes. And, um, we, we will never know what the, dis, what the destination will be until we reach it. And yeah. there will be, I would always relate it to seasons in our lives. Yes. You will never be stuck in a season of loneliness. And that for, for a, it may be long, it may be short. But if you notice, if it's something negative, it tends to last the longest. Right. And, um, Sometimes the enemy will try to plant seeds of doubt in our head yeah. to make us think that we're doing the wrong things. Yeah. So all things that you are doing, mm -hmm. as long as it is what it, as long as you're doing it for the Lord with all yes. your heart, you are doing it not to gratify yourself. You are doing it to gratify our Lord. Continue to thrive forward. Like look at Jesus. If you look at his life, the Pharisees themselves were blocking him. And yeah. this is the son of God we're talking about. He was, he's the son of God, but there were so many obstacles, right? Even Satan himself tempted, tempted him while he was mm -hmm. fasting in the mm -hmm. desert. And we may be walking in a desert where there's no food, there's no provisions, and it seems like we are so lost. Yeah. But it's never too late to read the Bible, immerse ourselves in the word of God. Yes. And it will never be too late to seek his presence, to ask, Holy Spirit, what do you want me to do? God, yes. where do you want to lead me? Yes. Because sometimes that's all that God asks. He yeah. wants us to seek his presence. Yes, there are times that we will feel we there are walls. Yeah. But only God can break those walls. Yes. Sometimes we we, we we exert so much effort that we forget that it's not our effort that was supposed to break yeah. through them. It was supposed to be God. Yes. And I know I know it's so difficult to sometimes hear his voice because I used to be that person like, why are there so many obstacles, Lord? <laughs> like, I really want this. I really, really want this. But and then 
like I said, like 10 years ago, that was my, my dream. And I'm only here now. 10 years. Yes. <laughs> and if you look as well in the book of Exodus, the Israelites as well, they were traveling in the desert and it was 40 years. It was yes. an 11-day journey, which became yes. 40, 40 years. And it's not because God was saying no, but it's because God is saying not yet. Yes. And there's something I want you to learn at this situation. Yeah. I used to be that person that says, why, Lord, why me? Why is this happening? <laughs> but you know what? When I, when I started, when he started changing my heart and my yeah. perspective, yeah. He made me ask instead, what do you want me to learn? And you know yeah. what? Honestly, asking that phrase, what do you want me to learn in this situation, Lord? What what is it that you want me to what do you, what is it what is it that you want me to experience right now so that I can bring you glory and honor? Yeah. Honestly, that made the journey bearable. Yeah. A certain situation at certain times. Yes. Because Yes, we will feel distant from him from time to time. And yes, we will feel those walls. Yeah. But the moment we start asking God, what do you want me to learn? He will answer you. It just takes the question and it will take a long pause. It may take <laughs> a lot of silence. Mm -hmm. But if we continue to tune ourselves yeah. to God, continue Amen. immersing i cannot emphasize Amen. immersing in his word yes and he will definitely guide us he will guide you he will yes. guide me yes to further his ministry here on earth you're absolutely right and you said something and i had to write it down you said seasons that word and it is so true god works in seasons right sometimes we think that oh my goodness it's been so long this dry time has been here for many years yeah. but we just need to think that it's only for a season yeah. because you know what at the end of it there like like the, the bible says there's joy because joy comes in the morning Amen. right yes. so it it is like you you were saying it, and it spoke to me so clear because what we're going through the, this pandemic is literally just a season is not here to stay forever the the loneliness maybe that a lot of people are feeling is just for a season it's yeah. not forever even the fear that we might be you know feeling at this moment is just a season yes yeah. some seasons are longer yep. some are shorter yeah. but it's only for that specific time yes. and whatever we want to learn in that season um, and, and I believe too, uh, and maybe I'm wrong, but th this is something I believe. If we are not willing to learn whatever we're going through, sometimes we're the ones that are holding that season more. Like, exactly. you know, we're saying, you know what? I'm not willing to give in just yet. So I'm just going to linger in this season for a little bit longer. <laughs> right. And God is like, and God is saying, wait, but if you were just to literally humble yourself or just literally lean in and, and hear what I'm telling you, then the season will be done, will be over. Exactly. But our humanity, right? We're rebels our hearts, some of us. <laughs> some of us are, you know, prideful and we're like, no, I don't see oh, the purpose of this reason, of the season. I don't see the what I'm supposed to learn from this season. So I'm just going to linger a little bit longer. Yeah. And we do. Um, and, and, and I like that, uh, that word season, like, like I was saying, it spoke to me a lot, um, Amy, because God is, God is like at the door waiting for our season, for us to step into a new era, into a Amen. new season and, and the I long, think, uh -huh. yeah, sorry. And no, I go ahead. That, I think a lot of anxiety started because we are so, um, we're so like, when will it end? We're all stuck to that mentality. Yes. Like, when is it going to end? Haven't I suffered enough? Haven't we worried enough? And the moment we let go, though, of that, when is it going to end? And start accepting that, you know what? I'm going to let God be God. Only you can do what you can do, Lord. Yeah. Let it be. I honestly can say that that anxiety was released from yeah. me. Because I was part of that, like... When is it going to end? Is it going to be just three months, six months? You know yeah. what? Maybe a year. But then I started 
I just let go and I said, you know what, God, you brought me here. You provided everything. So who am I to say or dictate that it should end in this couple of months? Yeah. You know what you are doing. You created earth. Yeah. You created the heavens, the earth. You created me. He created yes. you. Yes. He, he knows every strand in your hair. Even yes. Before you were formed in your mother's womb, he named you. Yes. So who are we to say how long? Who are we to know how long it's going to take? Exactly. But he will be there. He exactly. Has our names in the palm of his hand. Yes, exactly. And you know what? And 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 in the season of waiting, or in this, uh, wherever season we are in the dry season, it's a good time to start new things. Amen. Like you know, a lot of people are saying, like, no, we're lingering. We we cannot move forward. You know, like in in the states, it's like the economy is just like, you know, everything is just in pause, and we don't know what to do. But this is the season to yes. start innovating to start thinking, to start looking, you know, saying, God, what is it that you want me to start yeah. now that yeah. it's going to impact later? Absolutely. What is it that in the, in the waiting season, I can start working, planning, um, you know, even foreseeing, what can I do? And look at you and look at me. I started this in the middle of the pandemic, connecting to different women, connecting, um, you know, with different paths to bless others. So it, that is such an amazing um, way to even look in or to think about the waiting season, the dry season that we might be all going in because yes. humanity, we're all stuck in the same, you know, probably yeah. the majority of us are at home, except, yeah. you know, a couple of countries that have been able to put this, you know, yeah. in the back burner, but not us. Um, <laughs> When you, when you say, uh, and at the beginning you said that you were like super like a good planner, like you had put like your five goals in, in, you know, in the next five years, where do you see yourself in a year from now? Cause I know that, you know, after the season is over, where do you see, uh, that you're doing, where do you see yourself going or or preaching, or even, you know, saying, you know what, God, I'm not going to be more shy anymore. I'm going to be preaching from the altar. Like, what do you see? Um, I would, I, I have to be honest, in my last church, when my pastor asked me to start preaching in the pulpit, I was like, really me? <laughs> um, I'm so young, and I always saw it as a hindrance. Yeah. My age, yeah. honestly. Every time someone um, would look at me, especially if they were older than me, or even people who are younger than me, they're like, you're only that age and you're already preaching. And sometimes I let those negativities come in and yeah. like doubt myself. Yeah. I'm like, so I just write things down. And so I said, well, I'll start a blog, a blog. And then it didn't really kick off. And and then I said, you know what, I'm... I, you know what, Lord, you gave me a lot of gifts. How can I use it? So if you ask me specifically where I see myself a year from now, I don't know specifically. But what I do know is I will, I will endeavor and continue to strive yes. to, to uh, share the reflections that I have now, to share his word, yeah. and to reach as many people as I can. Like, I remember... Um, Billy Graham saying, or rather, sorry, Pastor Rick Warren saying that for as long as there is a soul who doesn't believe in Je Jesus, yes. we shall continue reaching out to yes. people. And like I said, I'm no longer a planner. I'm no longer a person <laughs> who, who has, I'm still goal-oriented. The goal yeah. is to do all things with love for the yes. Lord always. That's my yes. goal. But if you ask me specifically, I honestly don't know. I will continue to ask God where he wants to take me. And I know it's not going to be an easy road, but I know that I want to follow him. Like that's yes. the definite answer. Like I cannot, like, I honestly feel, I will feel lost without it. I'm scared. Yes. You know I mean? Yes. Be yes. Before, like I would say that, no, I don't feel scared. Like I'm okay. But then I read this verse in the Bible saying that with fear comes wisdom. Yes. God. And so that's why I always say that it's okay to be scared, but I have you, Lord, and it's okay. Yes, yes. And there's so much uncertainty in this world, but one thing is constant. God never changed. 
He's yeah. the same God. He's he's such a good father. He may get angry at times, but his blessings last forever. Yeah. Oh yes. For a, for a thousand generations. That's what the Bible says. Exactly. Exactly. So I honestly don't know, but I can tell you that regardless of the number of <laughs> Of the numbers uh, that may that my podcast may depict or my Instagram yes. or my YouTube may depict, what I can tell you is I can and I will continue serving God with all that I am wow. because yeah. I am nothing without yes. Him. And yes. that's the best thing that I can do too. Yes. It's the little thing that I can do for Him. Yes. For all the goodness. Yes. For all the goodness. And He is good. He is Amen. good. And, 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 and we know it and we're in two different continents at, at this moment as we're speaking and and we know that he is good that he's always Amen. faithful that he is always there that he is willing just to reach out and say you know what if you're going through a hassle if you're going through this let me intervene you know stop fighting me yes. you know sometimes at the other day i was speaking to someone i don't remember who it was and i was like i remember i used to fight god you know i was like no god i know better like yes. you, you don't know because i know better um but coming to an understanding of how good he is how merciful he is right the bible says that his mercies are new every single day Amen. that the mercies from yesterday are not the same from today they're new today yes. and yes. and if we walk into that understanding and if we walk in the full understanding of his word and of his love then like you said in a year from now yeah we'll be walking in his purpose right we might not know where we are but we are going to be walking in his purpose Amen. let me ask you amy how are you called to greatness i personally don't think that i am called to greatness for myself i think that i was called to preach the greatness of god wow and i don't think i am here for myself yeah i am not here for myself erase that but i am here to spread the message of God for people Amen. to listen to his message that they not see me, but see him working through me. Yes. Because sometimes we can get so caught up with finding our identity. What from the beginning, it was never ours in the first place. Yeah. Our identity is found in God. Yes. And yeah. So I honestly, I used to be the person I always wanted that spotlight. I wanted everything to be about me. Yeah. But you know what? God never gave me the platform until he knew for sure that I wasn't going to lift yes. myself up. Yes. So I say I wasn't called to be great for myself. I was called to sp help spread his word so that people will know him better. Yes. To know the goodness that he is, to know the mercy he has, he has shown to know that Jesus died on the cross to save yes. us from our sins. Yes. And our strength is from him. I will get tired, I know, physically. But I know I, fi I will renew my strength in him. Yes. And I do. We can only do all things through Christ who strengthens us. That's true. And you know why you just said something? You said, he didn't give me the platform until he knew that I wasn't going to lift myself. You know what? And that spoke directly to me right now because you are absolutely right because he didn't give me the platform, this platform for me to lift myself up. And, and that is a confirmation right now for me. Yes. yes. Amen. Yeah, well, you know what? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. It is of lifted my spirit. It is, um, I call it kingdom connections, you know, that both of us like not knowing each other jumped in last week just to try to see who we are and try to connect and 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 be and understanding that we serve the same god that we understand this that, that we serve the same jesus and that that we are willing to connect to, with each other to lift each Amen. other up and to lift each others up i think that's 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 what is great about this platform. And I want to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being with us. We're going to tag you in our YouTube channel, in our podcast too, and our, on our Facebook Live. Um, so please, you know, if anybody is listening, 
check her out. My bias heart. Yes. <laughs> um, and with this will not be the last time nope. for sure that we're going to connect. So uh, thank you again for being thank with you. us. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Have a great week. Have a All right. Week. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.